and Kendra. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different because we haven't done this before. This is gonna be the sister makeup swap video that I think we made it up. I kind of feel like we made it up. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey and I basically picked out each other's makeup. This is our actual makeup from our own vanities, but mm -hmm. we went to each other's and picked everything out mm -hmm. to decide what the other person was gonna wear today. And we had to do our makeup like the other person would wear it. Yeah. So, so I had to wear my makeup like Kelsey. Yeah, she has my signature makeup look and I have Kendra's signature makeup look. Mm -hmm. So that's what today's video is all about. And for today's video, we teamed up with Chic Razor, which is perfect timing because I needed my brows groomed. And I always use a razor to groom my brows. A lot of people ask me what I like to use to clean up my microbladed brows because your brow hair around the microblading still grows guys it doesn't not grow anymore so you do have to groom the brow hairs that grow around your microbladed brows so these are the chic silk touch-up razors they're really really good really really easy to use as well and they just basically get the job done without irritating the area that you're shaving you can also use them to shave your face and also exfoliate your face so if you guys have never heard of shaving your face, it's a really simple, easy thing to do to get your skincare products to work better, one, and two, it helps your makeup to go on a lot smoother. Yes. If you use it on clean skin, of course, when you use the razor on your face, so it has to be completely cleansed skin, so you can't have like, moisturizer or anything. And I like to use it like mainly like around this area where my peach fuzz is, so that's typically where I get like extra hair, like peach fuzz. You can't see it, of course, obviously, but it does make a huge difference. And I love these because they're really gentle. They don't irritate the skin, which is really good. So they do a really good job at that. And also you can exfoliate, of course, which you do the same thing if you were to shave your face. So it does help get dead skin off as well. It feels a lot smoother afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it kind of does both at the same time when you use it on your face. It does exfoliate and remove the fine hair at the same time. Like I said, it's super gentle. So I highly recommend these if you're looking for something to shave your face or like Kelsey uses it to clean up your brows. So they only have these on Amazon. So I'm sure most of you spend a lot of time on Amazon like most of us. So we will have a link down below for you guys to check out. So if you guys want to see Kendra and I do each other's signature makeup looks, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I picked out Kendra's makeup. Yes. And Kendra picked out my makeup from each other's vanity. So I was at Kendra's vanity picking out makeup that I would use mm -hmm. for my signature look. And she was doing the same at my vanity. Yes. Yeah, so this is our stuff, just stuff that we picked for each other. So I'm pretty sure we probably made this challenge up ourselves. Yeah. Because I've seen like turning my sister into me challenges. Those are cool. People keep asking us to do that one, but we hate doing other people's makeup, including each other. Kendra picked out the Makeup Forever mattifying primer for me, which I actually really like. I just haven't worn it in a while. And then Kelsey picked out the Hourglass Mineral Veil for me, which I do also use just not as often as me. Kelsey does. Yeah. I switch up my primers a little bit more. Um, yeah. But you usually go for this one all the time. I do. I haven't used this one in a long time because I usually only use it during like the summer. She picked this Clinique foundation. This is the Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer, which I do love this stuff. And I actually haven't used it in a while because it's almost a This foundation is bomb, which is why it's almost empty. And Kendra picked for me, which is great, something that I love anyway, is the Lancome Taint Idol 24 Hour Makeup Foundation, which is great. You actually picked up the one that I'm almost done with. Oh, I did? My bad. No, I need to finish it. Uh, get every penny worth. I feel like this isn't the challenging part, the foundation part, because we use a lot of the same foundation anyway. Yeah. Trying to use the rest of it, make sure I don't have anything left in here. I do feel like this eye look is going to be like the tricky part for me. Not tricky, the challenging part. Kelsey doesn't really wear eyeliner on the top. Yeah. The only time I wear eyeliner on the top is like if it's like for a special occasion or something. I used to do wing liner all the time, but it just takes a lot of patience. Like I'm good at it. It's just, I don't even feel like doing it to be honest. Kind of go ahead and move on to the eyes for right now. I don't bake. Oh man. Well, I do sometimes. You can bake. Can I? I'll let you bake because I do bake sometimes. Okay, so the concealer you have for me is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. One of my faves. Yeah, you use this a lot. A lot, a lot, yeah. So I yeah. gotta use that. I just kind of miss this though. This is very thin. Mm hmm. It's like creamy, right? So light. And we both use the Laura Mercier 
loose setting powder, translucent because you know it's the best translucent powder. Yes, especially for our oily skin, definitely. And the concealer that Kendra picked out for me is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. Lock It Tattoo Concealer. And I haven't used this in so, so long. I like this, it's just really, really thick. So I feel like it's a really good like going out concealer rather than like for every day, unless you, you know, prefer a thicker concealer for every day. So this is the palette Kelsey picked out, the Model Renaissance, and you do use this a lot. Hmm, what will Kelsey pick up? <laughs> so we're gonna go with that. Real girl. Red ochre. Okay, and I just like briefly carved out my brows. We're not copying each other's brows, obviously, because we have microblading. So we can't really change the shape or anything. So we're kind of stuck with what we have for right now. So Kendra got my Makeup Forever shadows for me. She picked them out. And I like to use these a lot, but I've never used them in the way that I'm about to, which is Kendra's signature matte eye look. And first I have to prime, obviously. And Kendra likes to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, which I don't have one of these. I want to get one. So I'm going to use Primavera on my lid because it's the most champagne-like color in this palette. And Kelsey goes for champagne-y, gold-y kind of colors. Yeah, but usually I pick any shimmer. Like, I'm not picky when it comes to shimmer. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Like, it can be like a champagne shimmer. It can be like peachy rose gold. Rose gold shimmer. Yeah, peachy. Okay. Would it be something like this? You're not supposed to ask. Sorry. Okay, never mind. I'm just going with what I think she used. So I'm just going to mix these two shades right here. M738 and M704. Okay, then she usually takes like a um, like a dark brown, like this one down here, which is the color M608. Okay, so for lashes, Kelsey picked out the Salon Perfect 615s for me, so that's what I'm going to go with. But first for mascara, this is the Lancome Hydra, no, Hypnose Drama. I just almost made my own name. I've never used this mascara before. I either picked that up or my MAC Beauty Play, but I thought she was going to give that. I was going to give you that, but it's so dry. I'm like, I ain't going to get her this dry mascara. The <laughs> lid usually varies, or it's always like just a nice vanilla. Okay. So I'm just gonna take these two neutral colors at the bottom here and mix them. Cheap, I ain't asked you no questions about you with but I'm, on your eyes. Yes, you kind of did a little bit. No, I was just naming what I was about to do. I okay, well, I already knew. knew. Kendra usually likes to do like a vanilla shade on her lid. So I'm just gonna mix two neutrals. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply liquid liner and do her signature wing liner. I'm gonna, gonna try to use the signature. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get it as close as you do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna be applying the NYC liquid liner. I don't know, I feel like I I like don't do liquid liner as much just because like when you make a mistake, it's like hard to go back. That's true. <laughs> Okay, so the left one looks better than the right. That's okay, cause I'm a little rusty and I haven't done wing eyeliner in so long. I don't even know how long, that's how long it's been. This is why I don't do it cause I'm like a perfectionist and I like it to be like even. When I'm doing wing liner, I usually do it for foundation. Like so I'll do my eyes first. Yeah, so, so it's like clean, clean it up. Clean it up. But or yeah. if I already did my foundation, I use concealer, but that's a little bit more tricky. So I'm just going to be using Coco Lashes and Misha. And I actually just ordered a bunch of these because this used to be both Kendra and I's signature lash. Like we used to wear this lash all the time. So if you've been like an OG subscriber, then you know Misha like Coco Lashes is like an all-time favorite. So I'm just going to be popping these on. We weren't that particular about what lashes we were wearing just because Kendra and I switch up our lashes. You know, right. I actually like this kind of look for myself. I'm also gonna add some eyeliner at the bottom only. Yes. I'll do top liner that also. Also doesn't do top and it's killing me not to put anything up here. I love bronzing with this, thanks. <laughs> okay, PW 
powder and contour kit. Well, powder, highlight, contour. Kelsey doesn't really contour, she just bronzes, so I'm just yeah. gonna warm up. But you usually contour, so I'm gonna try to. What do you use? I can't oh, ask, never mind. I'll try contour even though I usually don't. Then for highlighter, she likes to use Kylie Cosmetics Chocolate Cherry. I really like this palette, so thanks. We use, we like the same highlighters. This is the Sun Dipped Palette by Anastasia. I don't care how pretty this was. See, I made it easy for you. You know, I just gave you right there, exactly. <laughs> color on the inner tear duct. It's on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're thinking about it. Do she do this? <laughs> okay, so for mascara, she gave me the L'Oreal Telescopic and Carbon Black, which I really, really like. Okay, so for the lips, this is really tricky for me. Not really. <laughs> Kelsey typically only wears matte lips. You rarely wear glossy lips, like, not really. I don't even know why you buy lip gloss, to be honest, because I don't either. I love gloss. I like matte lips too, but Kelsey like always, always wears matte lips. I so, start wearing gloss more. Yeah. I don't know, it just makes me feel extra like glam and also I hate my lips feeling dry too, so. Oh yeah. Um, this is True Brown K, both of our favorite, one of our favorite brown pencils. Okay, so for Kelsey's lips, she gave me three because she has to have a gloss, so she gave me True Brown K lip pencil. And for liquid lipstick, she gave me Lolita 2, which I have not used in forever. This is my, yeah, I forgot I had this. All that choice. <laughs> Obviously, does Kelsey, you were in my vanity. And my Fenty Beauty Gloss, which I have used a couple of times. It's really, really nice. And this liquid lipstick is from The Balm, and it is the trustworthy color and these are so good because they kind of feel minty mm -hmm. they have yeah. like a minty smell and like feel then finish off with the gloss okay so this is what i think kelsey typically looks like yes that's pretty much my signature look i just have a little bit more eyeliner on the bottom or eyeliner i thought this looked like no, like I drag it all the way down and I smoke it out. Oh, see, I didn't do that. I only did the inner rim. Yeah, I put it on like the inner rim and then like under that too. Okay. But other than that, it's pretty much what I do. Mm -hmm. So you did a good job. Okay. Let me see what you look like. Look down. <laughs> uh, the lid color is very spot on. It's usually like a skin tan color. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah, I can do uh -huh. that mm -hmm. Pretty. I usually have like a little bit more like the transition coat, a little bit more red going on. I would apply a tad bit more to like bring it back to life. Gotcha. Okay. So it's a little bit more warm in the uh, crease. crease. Mm -hmm. Okay. A tad bit less cool, but overall it's pretty much what I wear. And I guess because our eye, eye shapes are different, mm -hmm. I, would, I would add a little bit more wing liner. But that's just me. Oh God. I make it a tad I thought bit this was, longer. Yeah. I thought this was a lot. It's like it was a centimeter. Okay, gotcha. But I'm kind of feeling this um, Kelsey vibes look. And I'm feeling this camera okay. myself. This is so pretty. This is really pretty too, so. I feel like Kendra. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to check the link below for the Chic Silk Touch Up Razor. And they will be linked below the Amazon link because they are only sold on Amazon for you guys who want to try them. So yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.